hello guys welcome to my youtube channel in today's tutorial we are looking at how to bevel in blender so without wasting my time let's jump straight into today's tutorial first of all this is the object mode under the layout section in blender make sure you press your middle mouse which is the cursor to zoom in after that go back to your object mode look for edit mode and click on it after clicking on your edit mode, you see that your cube in Blender has been selected. Okay, right now it's set to vectors mode. This is the vectors mode. This is the edge mode. And this is the face mode. So, so in Blender, we use these three faces a lot in terms of beveling or taking away some part of your object that you don't like in Blender. So in this case, what we have, we will use is the edges. So first of all, pick your or select your edge to come to your object and click on one of the edges here. After selecting your edges, press Ctrl B on your keyboard and pull your mouse downwards. After pressing left click, you see a bevel box right here. Select that box. After that, you under the bevel box, you see affect weight type, weight segment shape, material inbox, mark, meter outer, inner, intersection type, face strength, profile, and etc. Or you can even do your own custom bevel settings in Blender. So right now, our affect is set to edge. If you switch it to vectors, this is how our object will look like. Let's set it back to edge. After setting it back to edge with a weight type, as you can see, it's set to offset. So if you set it to width or depth or percent or absolute, this is how your object in Blender will behave. So normally it is advisable for you to set it at offset when beveling objects in Blender. Or in your case, if you are doing something special, you can choose any one of this. After setting your weight type, with the weight I have 1.41 meters, when it comes to the segments, my segment is set to one. So with the segment, you can increase your segment to any amount. But in this case, let's increase my bevel to 10. After that, with the shape, I like it the way it is. Minus, let's set the material inbox to minus one. After that, check your loop slide. After that, maintain the default settings right over here. Under profile type, you can customize your beveling to this using the graph sheet. Imagine I stand or I point at this place and pull my graph right over here. You see what I'm getting right now. So you can use your graph to do some adjustments or bevel in Blender. To reset it, Locate the arrow pointing downwards, click on reset curves, and it will come back to its original state. There are presets that Blender has under the bevel too. When you click on it, you can see default support loops. So with the support loops, if you look at the graph, this is how the graph is drawn. You can change to after that, when you select steps, this is how the bevel will look like. So as you can see on the graph, this is how the graph represents steps in. So when you look at it, this is how your bevel will look like. Okay, since we don't need this, we will go back to default. Okay, after the graph, you can decrease the bevel like this. You can increase the bevel shape like this. 
So let's decrease the bevel shape. Something like something like this. After that, let's right click on it. Let's switch back to object mode. Right click on it, select auto shade auto smooth. And guys, we have our beveling cube. Okay, thank you guys for watching. See you next time in my next tutorial.